Finally, live football is back with crowds in Australia's sporting capital. Not since February has anyone been able to witness any football, no matter what the shape of the ball, live until now. Amy Park, the venue, Melbourne victory. Back at home, noise about to return. Brisbane Roar, their opponents. These two clubs combine as two of the most successful in the A-League era. And here we go, the start of Melbourne victory's campaign, which they hope is an era of rejuvenation under a new manager after last season's mysterious collapse. I think it was Michael Theoklatos, wasn't it? It was because, Michael Theoklatos. Well, he back was in the day, Theoklatos yeah. back in the victory days, wasn't he? And he then was. changed to Theo in Brisbane. And kept winning medals up in Brisbane. He was. Five A League championships. And he's got some trophy, Kevin. Well, Corey Brown's done well there to get past Storm Roo. Opportunity brewing here for his offside as he's Scott McDonald. Brisbane Roar are claiming it, and it has been called offside. Wetzel Hall's setting it up for Scott McDonald. It did, to the eye, Robbie, look like he yeah. was in an offside yeah, position. Look, he knows it. He looks like he's onside. He could well be onside here. Goal given. Former Blackburn manager Steve Keane, who's the assistant for Grant Brebner this season at victory. Total acceptance straight away. Problem here for Brisbane Roar. McManaman has still stolen in. Looking up, got his head up, he's going to have a shot, he's going to score a goal, and that is some goal and some way to make your A-League debut for Melbourne victory. Callan McManaman, what a goal that was. That is right out of the top draw. Absolute super strike from Callum McManaman. Corey Brown's gone very central with most of his corners. And again with this one, it's a good one and it's a goal, it's a very good one. It's Macaulay Gillespie has given Brisbane the lead for the second time in this contest at Amy Park. Well, they make most of their good period. All that pressing, ball in a lot of better positions. Shots coming in, O'Shea, McDonald working and winning that corner. And the perfect delivery. This is what it's been for victory in this second half, though. It's been a lot of this when they do have the ball. It goes back and cross far too slow. Even this ball speed on the pass, not like it was in the first half. That's a better ball. You can't control it. Most often it gets pumped and he's through. Wenzel Halls. He had this chance last week on neat little touch to try and get rid of Ansel. Wenzel Halls. He finds the back of the net and perhaps that is three points for Brisbane Roar. Well, what a super individual goal from Wenzel Halls. You know, I thought the chance was gone, to be fair. I thought Victory got a second defender back there. And maybe they should have been, but take nothing away. That's a great individual goal from Wenzel Halls. Great feet, shimmies one way, goes the other way. I thought the lob was on there, but he comes back in. I had to answer that they get someone else back, but he shifts it. Quick feet, just a long ball, and you know, the Victory defenders get caught ball watching. It's a very impressive victory from Brisbane Raw at the home of victory. With all those victory fans back in the stands, finally, they quieten the Coliseum, the football Coliseum of Melbourne in a football sense, and get a massive three points to get their season going after a first up defeat, the Melbourne City.